people of the internet people of the void should you take the crtp in 2024 the short answer is yes 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 if you're into enterprise security internal pen testing active jersey all that fun stuff you should take the crtp before we get into this issue deeper I was running giveaway we're finally at 10k i appreciate you all for subscribing thank you from the bottom of my heart that's what i'm talking about this shit means something to me man i'm just another guy from a very poor country down in southern africa where our president the country is known for having a president that sat that sat in office for about 40 years which is about eight terms in u.s um you know lingo so Never in a million years would I have thought I'd get to 10,000 subscribers, but here we are. I appreciate you. I'll be announcing the winners of the giveaway in the next video. But by the time the next video comes out, you already know yourself if you want. So appreciate you guys might do another giveaway at some point. So, you know, keep subscribing, like the video if you haven't already. But should you take the CRTP? Like I said, yes, you should. As long as Microsoft exists, Active Directory will exist with it. That's what keeps us employed for the most part, right? It is a security dumpster fire inherently. I saw a blog post a while ago that talked about how, despite how terrible Active Directory from a security standpoint is, even just the basic bare bones, it hasn't been touched yet, it's bad. There hasn't been a replacement because Microsoft is obviously a monopoly. Every enterprise has Windows laptops and it's not like Microsoft will let a third party come in and take the market share for, you know, that sort of thing. So we appreciate Microsoft. It keeps us employed. That's one reason you should take the CRTP because the skill is in demand. And um, so if you master this sort of stuff, you probably find a job. And I say master because a lot of people don't want to hire hire noobs. You kind of have to know a little bit more than the average person. But if you do internal pen testing, definitely take the CRTP. You learn how to exploit Active Directory um, without relying on CVEs and exploits because you're learning how to uh, exploit the inherent misconfigurations that come with Active Directory and how some things may be configured wrongly by, you know, sysadmins, etc. And you learn how to do this from a Windows perspective. So if you ever have a Dropbox, your Pentest Dropbox, which is your VM that you give to your client, they connect, it connects back to your infrastructure, you pen test from there. If they tell you they can't have a Linux machine for some reason in their environment, you have to give them a Windows machine. And if you don't take the CRTP, you probably don't know how to do everything you do on Linux on Windows. So this is another good reason to take it. You learn how to do your coercion, your stuff from database exploitation, enumeration, all that fun stuff from Windows, which is pretty cool in my opinion. But moving on, what is in the course? The course is pretty comprehensive. It covers a lot of things, a lot of things. Um, let me pull up my notes here because I'm not very organized, but it has everything from enumeration powershell uh you enumerating domains trust hunting for users privilege escalation lateral movement um using different tools um different methods for privilege escalation within um machines then within a forest or within a domain and then within the forest and then priv asking into another forest which is pretty cool there's persistence um trust abuse stuff with uh delegation kerberos thing obviously the stuff you need to know and then escalating from a child domain to a parent domain like i said and then escalating from one domain to another etc etc right all that fun stuff it is a packed course delivery delivery i wasn't really a fan of for a while because i didn't know they had a lab guide um the main form of delivery is the videos and in the videos i think it's nikhil that's how you pronounce his name i'll just say they in the videos right in the videos he'll be going over slides and i thought it was just the videos on the slides for a while and then i found out there was the walkthrough videos which are clutch for dumb people like me that get stuck all the time there's 
the lab guide which is just um kind of like the walkthrough videos but in a pdf form so you get the commands it tells you what to do and that's basically all the notes you need to be honest but apart from the lab guide as a pdf they also have it in the portal so if you don't like copying and pasting from pdfs which i don't because it it's just wonky you can copy and paste from your browser which works better uh, you can download all the tools in the course you can use them later you can use them in your own pen tests and um, you don't need everything for sure but some stuff comes in handy depending on the scenario so you could you know take a look at that see what you like keep what you need maybe get rid of the rest or just keep everything if you want to right that's the course so another thing I like about the course content is the fact that it teaches you to be considerate about how much noise you're making. FBI, open up! A lot of the stuff it teaches you, it teaches like the basic stuff that most people will do and then also shows you an OPSEC friendly way to do things so that if you ever start doing like red team engagements or your clients just say don't make too much noise or if you yourself just don't want to make too much noise you're gonna be one of the stealthy guys you know that just doesn't throw everything in the pen test uh, or during the pen test it shows you optic friendly ways or objects optic friendly alternatives for most of the commands and a lot of things to consider from the blue team side. it's also like attacking and defending active directory because there's a whole section at the end about defending some of the attacks and as he goes through the material as well he kind of just touches on how blue team is or how you yourself could uh defend some of the attacks which i think is pretty cool and i think it's a precursor to the crte where a lot of stuff is um opsec heavy you really have to consider your you know opsec don't make too much noise or you get caught by the blue teamers or you <laughs> get booted off a machine that you just pwned because you know you touched the disc so windows defender and all that jazz um that's a really cool thing and i think that's the best part about the CRTP to be honest when it comes to the material in the course itself there's about 30 something videos all of them are probably 15 plus minutes some are 20 some get to 30 minutes so it's a lot of content that you have to digest it took me a while because obviously I have a full-time job I had just transitioned into another role this one's a lot more demanding to be honest so it kind of took me a while to do the CRTP and if I hadn't already mentioned we're getting into the section of the exam which I failed the first time because I was just being silly I didn't take notes properly so when it came to like one of the machines I had to pivot to the how can I say second last machine I found what I needed to find 30 minutes before the exam finished which is like a 24 hour exam 24 hours to do exam then another 24 to do the report it was at 48 i don't know i don't remember you can always check i'll put it on screen um but i failed the first time because of that so take very good notes as usual everyone says take good notes sometimes it seems like a silly thing to say but take good notes um so second time around past the exam what you basically need to do is get into environment you're on a windows machine start exploitation from there you're pivoting all the stuff you need to do you're doing it from a windows machine and then the goal of the exam is to get some form of command execution on each machine and it doesn't have to be as an administrator as long as you can run commands on the machine you're good to go you can move on to the next thing so it's not that deep you don't you might not have to prevesc on every machine or you might depends on how you approach it i'm pretty sure there's a bunch of ways to you know exploit the entirety of the exam environment and I'm pretty sure there's more than one environment I cannot say for certain I do not know but the exam is pretty fun not that challenging though I'm just dumb like I said uh, a lot of people pass it on the first time but I'm dumb so I had to do it twice compared to something like the PNPT I would say the PNPT is more challenging because the PNPT required a lot more creativity in your thinking um, you really had to think outside the box for your pivoting and uh, you know your enumeration unlike this it's you're not really shooting in the dark with this one try everything you have in the course something will land for sure so uh, it's one of those I mean it is like the entry-level one um, since they have the CRTE and the CRTO 
no, CRTO, someone else, CRTE and something else after that. Um, so yeah, exam is pretty cool. It's fun. It's like 24 hours. So you get to take breaks, which you should, you get to sleep, you get to eat. Um, not too deep. If you have questions, if you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. I hadn't put something up on social media asking you guys if you have any questions about the CRTP. But some of the questions I had were just whether it's still relevant, and I think it is. And it's not that expensive. It's like 249 bucks, including your exam attempt, and you get lifetime access to the material. And I think a reattempt to the exam for the exam is like 99 bucks. So that's how much I spent. 249 plus 99. Not sure if the prices will go up ever, but I think it's a pretty good deal for the amount of content and knowledge you gain from this. It's a really good stepping stone into more active directory, into more enterprise security. But yeah, for the price, you get a lot of value, right? So I think you should take it, jump into it. It shouldn't take you too long, maybe a month, maybe even less if you aren't working full time. But um, that is the video. Appreciate you guys for subscribing again i never would have thought we'd get here so the journey continues we are not going to stop and as much as i'm not very consistent i will keep coming back appreciate you guys i will catch you in the next video peace